John Brethed was born in Henry County, Virginia on September 9, 1786. His early education was attained at home and in the rural schools of his native state. His family moved to Russellville in Logan County, Kentucky. Before studying law with Caleb Wallace, he worked as a teacher and surveyor in Kentucky. In 1810, he was admitted to the bar and then established his legal career in Russellville, Kentucky. Brethed entered politics in 1811, serving as a member of the Kentucky House of Representatives, a position he held until 1815. He married Caroline Whitaker of Logan County in 1812, and after her death, he married Susan M. Harris of Chesterfield County, Virginia. He was the father of four children. From 1828 to 1832, he served as the Lieutenant Governor of Kentucky during Governor Thomas Metcalf's term. As Lieutenant, he promoted the creation of public schools in the state and was elected President of the Kentucky Educational Society. Breath had won the 1831 Democratic gubernatorial nomination with Benjamin Taylor as his running mate and went on to defeat Richard A. Buckner and James D. Moorhead. Breath had won by 1,242 votes but Moorhead beat Taylor for lieutenant. This election set a Kentucky all-time record for voter fraud. In Oldham County, 162.9% of the eligible voters participated. Those numbers are impossible. Governor Breath had put Kentucky in a strong union position during the South Carolina nullification controversy. During his tenure, he advocated for a state-level policy of the guiding principles of President Jackson's national administration, and he vetoed several bills that denounced the Jackson land policy. Also, the Louisville Bank of Kentucky was commissioned. He favored the Jacksonian proposal to terminate the second bank of the U.S. He faced controversy over the construction of the Lexington and Ohio Railroad. He wanted it complete. When private investors bailed out of the project, the state provided a 150000 loan but it wasn't completed until 1851. During his time as governor, he was not concerned about public education, even though he had been as lieutenant governor. And there was also a growing push among Kentuckians for investment in education. After serving a little less than a year and a half, Governor John Brethed died of tuberculosis, passing away on February 21st, 1834. He was 47. He was buried at the Brethed Cemetery near Russellville and later in the Maple Grove Cemetery in Russellville. He was the first governor of Kentucky who was a member of the Democratic Party. I hope you have enjoyed learning about John Brethed. He was the 11th governor of Kentucky, and he was the second governor to die in office. With his battle with tuberculosis, serving a short term in office, and facing a Whig-dominated legislature, Brethed did not see a lot of his policies through. Even with these struggles, Brethed was a Kentuckian through and through who fought for a better commonwealth for all its citizens. Brethed County is named after him. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video and the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky History content. If you feel like it, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod. And don't forget to check out the Land Between the Meadows Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.